One of the areas MeshKit excels is optimizing meshes. Many of us have used other mesh combiner tools in the past, but there are often cases where certain meshes can break this process and cause all kinds of issues. One of the main reasons for this is when a 3D model is using submeshes. This is usually the case when you find a mesh using multiple materials, like the house I've selected right here. Most tools simply try to process this and hope for the best, with varying results. Most of them aren't so great in this situation. The mesh kit solution is to separate these meshes. This process will go through the models and literally break them apart. It then rebuilds each of the sub meshes as their own independent object with a single material. This allows it to be combined without any issues. MeshKit also allows us to make a backup of the scene before its first operation. This can optionally be turned off from the MeshKit preferences. It's worth mentioning that this test scene was obviously not designed for games at all. There are about 464 draw calls after batching is taking place, so the actual number is 1687 draw calls, which includes the lighting. There are 48 textures and materials being used in this scene. Without using texture atlasing, this means the best possible outcome for this scene is to get it down to 48 draw calls. Now that the separation tool is finished, we'll see that the scene has been broken up into individual meshes. Most importantly, all of these new objects are only using a single material, which means we'll be able to more effectively combine them and get some great draw call reductions. So the next step is to click the combine tool and start the process. At this point, MeshKit doesn't actually delete the old meshes. Instead, it disables all of the old renderers and keeps the structure you had, just in case you had custom scripts, colliders, or a special setup in place. If you don't have any setup you want to keep on the old meshes, deleting them is easy to do. MeshKit renames the new meshes for you by adding a number and the word combined. In this example, I'll go ahead and delete the old meshes. This scene's meshes are now fully optimized. If we take a look at the stats, we can see that there are 49 draw calls, 48 from the 48 different textures, and one from the skybox. If we activate the real-time lights, this number is increased to 126, which even smartphones can handle. So to recap what we've done, we took a 3D scene that was in no way designed for games. We've broken it apart by separating the submeshes, we built all the meshes and then combined it to lower the draw call count to the number of textures in the scene. If you were to do this on a scene that was actually designed for games in the first place and it had good texture atlasing, it will be possible to get down to even a single draw call. Thanks for taking the time to check out MeshKit.